Hi everyone, welcome to Chess 24/7, and you are encountering another online chess blitz video. I am playing with black pieces, and we have a king pawn opening. Well, we have a three knight defense. Let's go for four knight defense here. I'm completely copying my opponent's moves here, and black will also castle. D3. Okay, <coughs> I don't want to play D6 because then Bishop G5 is coming. That will be a problematic pin. So let's avoid this. Pin. Bishop E3. I can take the bishop and pawn takes E3. He will be having double pawns on the E file, but he will be having control over the F file, which will get. Semi open automatically, but I have this pawn on e5, and I'm likely to play after I exchange this bishop. I'm likely to play d6, which will make my bad bishop go off for my opponent's good bishop. And now I'm going to play d6, and I target is bishop g4, pinning the knight. Okay, d4 is played. I don't want to take here because then he will be having his uh, pawn structure resolved. Although I would be happy if he takes it because then I can take with the knight. And if knight takes, I can again take it because then the, the, these two pawns will be uh, under attack and this e3 pawn will be a backward pawn if the exchange takes place on e5. So let's play bishop g4 and pin the knight. A4. Okay, let's just play A6. I don't want to uh, let my opponent gain uh, some space that easily. D5. I was expecting D5 to be played, and I can play Knight A5, hitting the bishop, but that won't be good. Let's just retreat my knight, and if we can relocate it to a Good square maybe b4 and I want to get rid of this bishop I'm happy to be if I can take this bishop off but let's not go let's not make decisions so fast let's just place this knight to a good square or maybe in the future we can retreat it somewhere else b5 again i won't take on b5 because that gives away the control of b5 i would be happy if he takes on a a6 sorry and then i can capture on a6 so that i reinf i have some control over this uh, b5 square anyways now let's get just rid of this uh, bishop and i think the queen will take because the, otherwise he would be losing this pawn, I thought. No, he was not. <laughs> I was wrong. Anyways, but now he has great control over this f file. But this is a hole now. C5 is a hole. Let's reinforce all our pieces on the queen side because this whole king side is quite locked in. His bishop is quite bad piece. He's just looking at his own pawns. So uh, that's quite advantageous to me. Let's go to C5, and this knight cannot be easily challenged. Yeah, I mean, A5, knight A4 can be played. That's an idea. Rook A to D1. My, uh, this rook is opposite to my queen, but the this whole file is quite close, and so I think I don't need to fear this rook maneuver. Knight a2, so he wants to go to knight a1, uh, sorry, knight c1, and then knight d3, challenging this knight, or he can go to knight b4. In any case, I'm going to take this pawn. So let's see what's the follow up knight b4. So knight c7 is coming, although I can get this knight very easily out by knight e uh, knight c6 is coming, and I can get this knight out by knight e7. But 
now let's just hit the rook and now this knight is awesome because he's hitting he's into my opponent's enemy territory and I have a pass a5 pawn a pawn let's hit the knight bishop d3 let's control this b file now and let's just push and I think this is a problem for my opponent okay but I have this rook to protect and I'm hitting the c2 pawn now and I'm threatening to invade my rooks didn't get to their king but now I'm hitting both these pawns let's see how is black going to defend and I think now I can insert this thing if either of the rook takes I take the rook with my rook and the rook would be pinned and if both if these pair of rooks are exchanged I can queen very easily okay so he's resigned good game good game let's revert we add e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 knight c3 knight f6 four knight defense bishop c4 bishop c5 I was mimicking my opponent's move till this point and he had a lot of space on the queen side so I think he should have played on the queen side but uh, again if you look at this file or uh, f file it is under great pressure uh, from my opponent he is having tremendous control of this file but uh, my, my rook was always there to protect the f7 square or yeah I mean the f7 square is right now under attack so And one move that I really uh, wonder should I should have played was let's go to edit mode was rook f2 b8 because now I'm both these rooks are controlling these uh, files I mean this a file is semi open but this b file is completely open and he cannot challenge uh, this file with rook b1 because my knight is ready to take this uh, piece out so after rook a b8 but I wanted to play my A rook because now I can insert this way and here is lined because I'll show you why if either of the rook takes no matter which rook take, takes with it, this comes with check and the rook is pinned so if he takes it I'm queening and it's a lost game something like this and it will be made now yep good game good game that's it for this video and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did that please hit that like button subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video till then take care tada goodbye good day